welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 22nd of March and even though the Antonio Carrero pack came out today, the DLC first part um, from the season pass, they still drop mods, there's still a lot of mods and there's two maps as well, but this comes with a warning today. I just want to make you aware of this. I have my mod hub, if, if you remember on FS19, you could have... Um, top mods or show all mods and sometimes if you clicked it by accident you could have it on top mods and it didn't show all the mods that are available on fs22 you've got the option of show all mods or cross play well i kind of when i first started playing clip mine onto cross play anyway because if you're on console all your mods will be cross play anyway it's only from really the other side but it makes a difference because if they're a pc only mod we won't get them on our mod hub on console um, so mods got released, I went down the list, had a look at them all, went into the mod hub, put on my PlayStation, no mods. I went backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards, refresh, 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 came out of the game, came in, turned off my PlayStation, came back in. Turned out, none of today's mods are showing as crossplay. That little tag isn't on there, so if you can't find the mods that are on what I'm showing you now, it could be you've got yours set on crossplay. You need to click on show all mods and they should pop up. Just as, I don't know why it did it, but that's the thing. One update today, the hay storage with bale acceptance by Fib7. Uh, that was just um, hay and uh, straw before. That now has had a change log to add grass and silage and change the fill capacities as well. So not only can you have hay and straw in there, you can now have grass and silage stored in that. Uh, first of the mods in front of us, we have got this. I'm going to look down my list because I've got this. is the self made bale fork by Keeler Modding. 0.77 megabytes download, one slot on console. You'll find it under bale loading. Um, this is a front loader attachment, not a three point or anything like that. Um, so if you've got a front loader vehicle or you've got a vehicle with a front loader attachment, it will attach on there. It's a bale spike. Um, there's the option to change color, which give, you can change the main frame and the spikes stay red. Not much else to say on that one, really. Uh, next, we have got this. Uh, this is the self-made bucket with forks by Iceberg00. It is 1.16 megabytes download, two slots on console. It's got a 2,000 litre bucket with bale spikes. This is a clever little design, this. I, I like this. Smart. Very smart. Uh, you'll find it, he says, ha, ha, ha. Under tools and under, I want to say front loader tools. <laughs> there we go, on the end. 1200. Takes all the crop types that are there and we can change the main colour to ink on that palette, like so. When you hook it up, it has a capacity down the bottom right, but you can use it as a bail fork like that or unfold front loader tool. Do that and it puts away. So you can just use a regular bucket, 2,000 litres, for doing whatever job you want to do. But then, if you want to move bales around, slot the spikes in, and away you go. I, just, just a clever little bit of kit. Does a job and works very well. There we go. That's the self made bucket with the forks by Iceberg zero, 00. Down onto the field then. We have still got quite a lot of stuff today, but I'll, I'll try and get through as quickly as I can. We have got the Weighing Station Large by Vergamini Modding and Lost Gamer. 0 0.75 megabytes download, four slots on console. Uh, when you come onto here in a vehicle, because uh, obviously I'm not heavy enough. Well, <laughs> in real life I am, but on here I'm not. Um, you've got a, a weighing scale that end, weighing scale that end. So you've got an in and out if you want to use it for that. It's not cheap, I'll be honest. Um... But if you want to get that kind of more immersion into your gameplay, you can. Uh, this was found under, where did I find this? Tools, I think it was. So under build mode and tools, on the end there, 65 grand. Uh, slot count will come down from four to one if you put any other ones in after that. So there you go, the weighing station large. Next, we have got these. This is the Agco Dealer Sign Pack. This is by KRKZ Modding, 1.10 megabytes download. These are two slots each. We've got an Agco sign that's got various different manufacturers on there, part of the Agco umbrella. Then we've got a separate Massive Ferguson Fent Challenger or Voucher one. So if you want to set up a dealership or you've got a dealership and you want to put these outside, you can. Uh, these you will find, I think these were under decoration. So build mode, 
decoration. Others, yep, they were. 1,200 for each one to place. Like I say, you've got the Agco standard dealer sign. Massey, Fent, Challenger and Voucher. Not much else to say about those either. Moving on. Um, that was by KRKZ Modding. Next, we've got these. This is the Placeable Storage Silo by ER Shab at VSR Modding Sur. 2.01 megabytes download. These are three slots each, 240,000 litre capacity. And we've got two of them. This one, now, this one's, I say weird, it holds seed, fertiliser and compost, it says. Now, I thought, well, maybe that's manure. Tried manure and it wasn't. Um, yeah, it says, storage silo for seeds, compost and lime. So that one will do seed, compost and lime. That one is pig food and total mixed ration. Putting in is done here. Taking out is done here. 240,000 litres is the total maximum capacity. I put 240,000 litres. If we go over my, I should have my thing open. There we go. Bottom right, total mixed ration, 240,000 litres. It would not let me put any pig food in then. So that's a total capacity of 240,000 litres. Um, now, the only thing I think, because sometimes we get map, maps, or we have had maps from ER Shabba, um, which have had the ability to make compost, much as you make silage. So I'm wondering if that's potentially in advance of a map coming out, um, because we don't have compost as a standard thing in-game. But like I say, 240,000 litre capacity, total for seed, lime, and or compost in this one. You'll find these under build mode and silos. They're 18 grand each. That's not too bad when you think 240,000 litre capacity, 18 grand. Um, they're, not, they're a fair size as well. Now, sometimes you get mods and it's a large capacity and it seems very small, very TARDIS like. Other times you've got them and they are colossal with not very big stories. This is sort of a balance of in between. So, anyway, um, that's the. Uh, I'll find it the placeable storage silo by ER Shabba. Uh, moving on from there, we have got this. This is the modern house. This by um, right Ed Ziaschek. I think it's Ed Ziaschek. I hope I said that right. Uh, Eight point four one megabytes download. Seventeen slots on console. It is. Uh, you can't go into the building. It's a sleep trigger from the outside. I don't think it's got a wardrobe. I don't know if it's got a wardrobe trigger. I don't think it has, actually. I mean, you can access it through your kind of main control panel anyway. Um, this you'll find in your build mode under farmhouses. I think it's 50 grand or 55. Yeah, modern house. Slot count on that was 17, comes down to 1. Uh, 50 grand if you want to use that as your sleep trigger. That's by Ed Ziaschek. Uh, moving on from that, these are very interesting from a modder I like very much. Uh, this is, these are by Mantrid. Mantrid brings out some... I mean, I've said this before. Loads of modders bring out loads of great stuff. But some of the things are a little bit bonkers. We had them on FS19. There were some zany things. Um, we've got these. This is the Easy Way Station and Fruit Shop. 1.72 megabytes download. One slot each on console. These are by Mantrid. Now, these are buy points. It's an Easy Way Station. And let's be honest, even if you're blind as a bat, you can see that nice and clearly. So you can use it as a way station if you want, but you can also use it as a buy point. Now, this one says 10% surcharge on all purchases. So if you place this one, you get charged 10% on top of, I say, a standard price. So these are like an investment opportunity, I think is the best way of putting it. Investment silos, I'm not even silos, is it investment buy point. Um, yeah, it does also have as well a handy dandy jet washer. So you can bring your vehicle here, you can buy some product, you can weigh your product, you can weigh whatever you want to weigh, and jet wash while you're here. Very versatile and useful building. But there are another two in this pack. I've placed the other extreme. This one is 30% off. So you get a 30% discount, and the one that comes in between is a 10% discount. So you've got 10% surcharge on top, a 10% discount, or a 30% discount. Now... The catch that, and why I say it's an investment opportunity, is that one is a flat price and it's very low. The more you're prepared to pay for your silo, the better your deal is, the better your reduction will be. So if we go into here, this was under, was this tools as well? 
Did we just see that when I was going to look at the thing? It was. So, 12 grand for the one where there's a plus 10% surcharge. So it's nice and cheap, but there's a bit of a surcharge. <laughs> yeah, they're doing you a favour by being there. Um, if you want to pay 32 grand for the binding thing silo, you get a 10% discount. If you want to pay 42 grand for your silo, it's a 30% discount. I know which one I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to do is a quick test. I'm going to fill up with something. Doesn't matter what. But we are going to have a quick scroll through as well. Start filling. Total mixed ration, forage, chaff, wood chip, silage, grass, hay, straw, snow, road salt, lime, pig food, stones, mineral feed, manure, solid fertilizer, wheat, barley. It does pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Let's go with it doesn't really matter what. Let's say, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Why am I overthinking this? Pig food's normally quite expensive. Let's pick pig food. So, 8,000 is pig food. 19,084. That's because I'm having to pay a little bit over the top. shouldn't really have uh, there's a quite a big step on the side of that um, come on now so do the same thing again we shall choose pig food 5017 that's pretty good. 8,000 litres of pig food for 5,017. That's an absolute bargain. An absolute bargain for pig food. So, yes, um, the more you're prepared to invest up front, the better your deals out the other end. Oh, it's a clever idea, clever concept. You can do all sorts of storylines. I mean, you could have one and you could replace it if they're doing a sale or you just have to sell one all the time or whatever you want to do, really. Of course, it's your choice. The Easy Way Station and Fruit Shop by Mantrid. Uh, moving on from there, this makes a welcome return. This is, if I can find it, the Lizard Pop 6X by Vanquish081 VSR Modding Sir. Four slots on console, 5.35 megabytes download. If you're into doing your poplars, you need a forage harvester to harvest them. The standard in-game header is two meters wide, quite small. I think we've only got one of them at the moment. This is a six meter poplar header. So if you want to do your poplars and you want to get them done pretty quick, this is a very handy bit of kit. Uh, you will find it under forage harvester headers. So the standard one there, the 130FB, two meters wide, New Holland variety. On the very end there, 42,500 for the 6 metre. Uh, but we can also change it. So we have Brands, No, Lizard, Class, John Deere, Krona, Russell Mash, Fent, back off again. Um, and then you can obviously then change your colours to match if you go for Krona or Fent or whatever. Um, and then design colour, not that it really matters. I mean, that looks ghastly as a, as a Fent option but anyway as you can see you can you can mix and match these to match the manufacturer i haven't matched that very well at all um never mind it'll run at six miles an hour like a regular header i've just got i've just grabbed a forage harvester grabbed a trailer and all we're going to do is absolutely crunch through these poplars Poplar fields are one of those things that you buy a, a pallet of 2,000 litres and it goes a very, very long way. And when you come to harvest, you get quite a lot more wood chip than you realise. And when you're doing it with a two metre header, it can take absolutely forever. So having this, the six metre header, is absolutely brilliant. There we go. The Lizard Pop 6X by Vanquish081 for all your poplar work. Moving on. We've got this. This is the Marshall ST1800. This is by Arek. 3.57 megabytes download. Four slots on console. This is an 8,000 litre slurry or digestate spreader. It will spread out to 11 metres. Very nicely detailed. 
There's a few different configuration options with tyres and things like that on this. Um, obviously, 8,000 litres doesn't go a very long way. If you're doing small field work or small farms or you're gradually building up, nice bit of kit to have. I do like the Marshall stuff. Um, where are we? Slurry tanks. Right on the very end, 14 grand. Not too expensive. It'll run at 10 miles an hour. Options available on this. We can have Continental, Trelleborg, Michelin, Lizard, Frederstein, Knockins, BKTs, Bax Continental. Some of them don't have an option. The Trelleborg do have a wide. The... What was the other one that does? Oh, is that the only one? Yeah, it might be only Trelleborg then. It has another option. I do quite like the um, knock-in on that one. But, again, your choice. Uh, decals, you can have the new design Marshall or the old. I went for the old. Just like that logo. Main colour, anything on that palette. Ugh. Design colour, anything on that palette. Changes the top section, the pump housing to the bottom there. Um, and then rim colour, again, anything on that palette to really mix it up. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's hop in there. Now, you can also, with slurry tankers, fertilizers, uh, manure spreads, and these, you can activate double application rate if you want to, so you can get your two fertilizing states in straight away. It will run slower and it will get through the fertiliser a lot quicker, but it saves you coming over the ground twice. Nice animation. And it does the job it's intended to. Very nice indeed. Now, that one was uh, lost on my list by Eric. Now, we have also got, right next to it, another slurry one, but this is even smaller. So this is if you're going to do your back garden or something like that, I suppose, but... This is a, I want to say 2300. This is the lizard, as it says there, the PN20 slash one. Uh, this is by Pushcap, 5.51 megabytes download, four slots on console. It's a 2300 litre, and it's got a three metre spread on it. We'll see it operating first, I suppose. Uh, we can do the same thing this, we can activate double application rate if you want to, but we don't have to. Oh, something very, very cute and fun about that. I like. I don't know. I, I, when I say fun, I mean fun, not funny. It's just. I like it. It's brilliant. Again, it does a job. If you're doing small field stuff, it's absolutely perfect. Under slurry tanks. It's been a long day. Trust me. Um, so there we go. The PN21. It's only three grand. Two thousand three hundred litre. Thirty-one horsepower required. So you can get away with very small tractors on this. Slurry or digestate. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Rim colour, to anything on that palette. And that's it. Slurry or digest eight spreader. The Lizard PN20 slash one by Pushcap. Uh, next up, we have got this. Just here. This is the Front Cultivator by Nico Do 55 This is 5.21 megabytes download, three slots on console. It's four meters wide i think it is there's no options on this it just comes as it is you will find it under cultivators 8200 to buy 80 horsepower required run nine miles an hour like i said no options you just get it like that you can put this on the front do you cultivate on the front if you if you don't own a direct drill so you can cultivate on the front and have your seed on the back let's open it up it does have a wheel right in the middle and on the edges there, once it's folded out. Keeps it a nice compact unit. Shallow cultivating. This is of the Kvernland variety. Sure, sorry, I should have said that. It doesn't say it on the mod tab when you get in here, it's Kvernland. So the Kvernland front cultivator by Nico Do 55. Perfect. Uh, moving on from there, we have got we've got the Stratman Terra Vitesse 4201DO, the CFS 4201 do This is a 40,000 litre forage wagon. This is by uh, VarioFan1987. It's 8.66 megabytes download, six slots on console. We've got a few forage um, trailers, forage wagons in game already. Uh, a few different Stratman mods available as well, but this is a 40,000 litre one. Uh, nicely made, nicely built. You will find it under forage wagons 
So in standard in game, we've got the 2501, which is 23,000 litres. And then we've got the Magna, 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 I say it every time, I'm never quite sure, 50,000 litres. So this is 40,000 litres, 95 grand, not too expensive, 180 horsepower required, we run 12 miles per hour. We've got the option of Trelleborg, Michelin, Fredestein, BKT, and back again. Um, Trelleborg, Michelin, there are no other options. Vredestein, we've got a standard and a standard two. Different, slightly different tread. Uh, BKT is just standard, and then back to Trelleborg. Then it says design, standard, or meter uh, meter rollers. So you can have in the back there for unloading meter rollers, which just flick all the stuff around and make sure everything kind of disperses properly when you unload. But you don't have to have the meter rollers if you don't want to. There's no cost implication. Uh, you can have silage additive tank, yes or no. So if you are doing this for silage work, if you're doing grass, you can get a 5% bonus if you add silage additive to it. There's a license plate option there as well. Um, we'll hook up. We do have the option at the front, L1 and right stick up and down to move that out of the way. So if you are doing this with a silage harvest or you're putting something like grass into it, not picking it up, using the, the collector you can put that flap down so it pushes into a lot easier turning it on drop it down and away you go it's, there's not much else really to it really for a, for a forage wagon that's what it does um, unloading work for the meter rollers on this one floor walks and the meter rollers do their thing very nice indeed. The Stratum and Terra Vitesse CFS 4201 by Vario Fan 1987. Uh, next, I think I need the tractor. I do. We have got the Emily Pack. I'm trying to think. We had this on FS19. I don't know if it was exactly the same as this. I don't know if it's been like updated to the modern ver variants, versions. This by Universe Simu Modding. We've got four items in this pack I believe it's four items I want to say that um, so the Emily pack 34 megabytes download we have got the volcano and that's um, a bale shredder I don't know if it's supposed to take round bales I put this square bale in because it's square shaped I thought it was, it's gonna be for a square bale I tried to put it in and it kept just pushing the bale up and out it, the bale just wriggled and wriggled and wriggled till it almost popped out but that's the volcano bale shredder uh, we've then got this um, telescopic bale shredder, which goes in a uh, telehandler. Um, this has got a neat function, I'll show you in a minute, for putting a round bale into it. Then we've got these two. Um, these are, I've got written down, the Melodis. We've got the Melodis 4.2 and the Melodis 7.5. One is designed to go on a telehandler, one is designed to go on a wheel loader. 7,500 litres. And these are, in essence, these are front bucket mixer wagons. So these are these will do total mix ration, feed mixing. Um, and then, oh no, five things, yeah, because then we've got this here as well. Um, the little Emily, this is the AM317. And this is... Um, it's kind of a bale shredder as well. It's it's a cleaner and straw spreader. It's a bit of a weird one. We'll see that in just a moment. Uh, so, I just took them first. So, under animals, we've got the volcano, 25 grand. It says one bale, 50 horsepower required. No options available. Well, there's an unplay option, but no other options other than that. Uh, then we've got the... Sigma, sorry, I didn't, yeah, the Volcano, the Sigma, 22 grand. No options available on that. Oh, slot counts on these. The Volcano was five slots. The Sigma is five slots. The uh, Melodis 4.2 is three. The Melodis 7.5 is four. They all say one at the moment because I've already got one. Once you've bought one, the slot counts will come down for any subsequent duplicate you may have. So no options on any of them, they come just like that. And if we go to vehicles and we go to our animals, this is where you'll find the Emily on the end, the AM317. Again, 22 grand, not too expensive. 3,000 litre capacity. That's something we can look at in just a moment. <clears throat> uh, we can change the main color of the brushes. Like that. So, start off with this one. Now, if I do the options menu, you have to load this up with a fork or something, whatever you're going to put the bale in with. Um, I didn't put no option on the number plate, but never mind. Uh, L1, lower straw blower. 
which just does that on the hitch. Uh, then R1, nothing. L1, R1. The only option really we've got on this, other than the lower, is unload. So when we do that, it just sprays the straw out the back for putting embedding. Very handy, very useful. The volcano. Uh, next, and this is this is cool. I love the mechanism on this. <laughs> this is one of those things that, as soon as I had a bit of a play with it, I thought, that's cool. And I think, like I say, I'm sure I remember it from... Um, FS19. So under L1, right stick side side, because we've got obviously the um, tally handler as well. But I'm trying to get this to go. That one. There we go. So R1 and right stick side side opens that. L1 and R1, we can rotate the head for the straw blower and we can raise and lower the head on the straw blower. So we can decide where we're going to be putting the straw when we do finally blow it. But if we put that down, we're going to pick up our round bales. We go up to our round bale, just tuck underneath it before it rolls anywhere. Like that. Should be alright, I think. There we go. Then we do put the bars and watch this. <laughs> we can lift that up. And hopefully. Oh, it just didn't quite do it at the right angle. But if I get that one right now, uh, that one. There we go, it'll go, it kind of goes in. There we go, it'll push it in. It's not perfect, but yeah, I just, I like that as an option for, for putting it in. It, when I first did it, it went in a lot straight. Obviously, got a bit of clipping around the side because it didn't go in straight. Uh, and then, same thing with this, we can. I wonder if it's because the head's around the wrong way. Yeah. That's interesting. If you go too far with it, then it won't let you unload. So as I bring the head back around to that direction, we'll put it down towards the floor. Then unload here. Very cool. Turn that off. Um, so I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, Whoa, that's not liking the fact the bell's been left in that. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> it's possessed. It's demonic. What is... Whoa, okay. Okay, this... The, I've got a funny feeling this pack will get an update. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Right, so, uh, on the tally handler, we've got the Melodis 4.2. 4,200 litres, bottom right, as it says... I've got total mist ration in it. Top left, you can see the mixing ratio. Now, you can put small bales into this. You can load in loose. So if you've got piles of loose material, or you can do it from buy points if you wanted to, to make your total mix ration in this. Um, unfold mixer wagon opens the four cups. So if you are scooping from loose piles, you can. And then once you've got your total mix ration made, you go to wherever you're going and unload here. Lifts the side up and pours it all outside. Uh, I don't think it gives you an option. No, it only op opens up on that side. So that's the smaller of the two. And then the larger of the two does exactly the same thing, just with the wheel loader instead. <laughs> that is dropping me bonkers in the background. I can't believe that. That's going to hit my other vehicles, isn't it? Um, but anyway, 7,500 litres. Again, loose material, small bales, or from a buy station. Or a silo, if you've got a silo with all the product in. You absolutely can. Once you've got it filled up and you've got the correct mixing ratio for total mix ration, we can unload here. Same thing. Open the side, drive it on the trough, and you can feed your animals. Lovely. Which brings you on to the last one. And this is where things get a little bit weird. Um, so we start this up, and we can ride on it. And it's got a little horn, and that kind of thing, which is lovely. Uh, unfold straw blower does that. Turn on straw blower does that. Now this is supposed to be a, a cleaning thing as well, so you can clean feed areas. So we can raise and lower that little bar at the front, and we can raise and lower the whole assembly. So if I move that bar up out of the way, and then lower the whole assembly down. When we come up to this, it will push the feed, or the straw, or, but it won't actually... It's not doing anything more than that. It's just kind of pushing it. And let's put that bar down a little bit further. There we go. So it will kind of push the stuff around, which... OK, I kind of see the... I say I kind of see the logic behind it. Um, but, hang on. there we go. If we go to R1 and right stick side to side, we can tip that whole thing down. If we tip that whole thing down, it just works like a shovel. 
Uh, and again, if I lower that down like that, we should. So now you can see we are actually scooping up the straw that's on the floor. Now, on FS32, we don't have feed areas to clean at the moment. Um, there's no option for that. So that's, you know, so redundant, not really redundant really. But once you've got your straw in there, again, you might have a straw pile and you might just be going to collect. So let's turn that off for a second. But then unload here, blows the straw out so we can fill up our feed things, which is great. Now, when I said about um, the capacity, and I went, <laughs> when I first came out, I thought, you know, what I'll do is I'll put some straw in it on the way down, I'll fill it up. Um, and then what I'll do is put some on the ground, like I've just done, and show me collecting it, picking it up and blowing it. So when I went to here, here, this happened. Look at the bottom right. Okay, let's just stop there for a second. We're at 70,000 litres in here. So, if you want a straw blower that's compact and small and you want to use it like a silo, um, you can put your, just put 70,000 litres of straw into this little beauty and then whenever you need to do your bedding, just go and do the bedding. You do tip side left, tip side right, go tip side right, unload here. It's going to take absolutely ages to unload 70,000 and I dare say that will keep going. Now, I would imagine the more weight that goes into that, the harder it's going to be to drive, but it's still picking up speed and getting up to well, 12 miles an hour. So, yeah, I, th I think this is probably going to get an update, but if you don't want to update it, then don't. You you've got yourself a little mini silo on wheels here for straw blowing. Um, that's, that's the Emily Pack by University Mew Modding. Moving on from there. Uh, what's next? Right, <laughs> at the back, I think we're on to the last of the mods, I think. We've got this. Um, so we've got the Massive Ferguson Activa 7347 with free flow 25 foot header by Jelinek. It's nine slots for the harvester. It's six slots for the 7.6 meter header. The pack is 20.77 megabytes download. I mean, this was a standard in game, wasn't it? On FS19, the, the 7347, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. Uh, so it's nice to have it. Nicely detailed mod, 8,600 litre tank, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's go to our harvesters. Yeah, 8,600 litre tank, 306 horsepower, 202 grand. Options available on this, we can have Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, BKT, Vredestein, and back again. Each one of them, depending on your particular brand choice, has a wide and standard option on them. Obviously, some of them sit a little bit higher, like the Michelin, put kicks the hole back up quite high, um, and they've got a license plate option on there as well. And then if we go to our tools and headers, on the very end, we've got the free flow 25 foot header, uh, 49,500. No options available on that either. We hop in, start her up, beacons, horn, Lights, so the header on. On the header, we have got the option on L1 and right stick up and down to adjust the reel, as you do on most headers. Uh, we go back to the harvester, unfold, pipe out. There's no pipe length options or anything like that on this. Uh, I don't think we've got doors or anything that open. Pipe in, let's turn it on. Nice animations, nice sounds. Just another option and, and sort of another sort of slots into the range of harvesters quite nicely as well for a sort of mid size. Say mid size, is it on the small size or mid size, you reckon? Mid, I reckon. The massive Ferguson Activa 7347. By Jelinek. Moving on from there, we've got this little beauty here. This is the Kramer KL200. Uh, this is by EY Modding, 5.2 megabytes download, four slots on console, 
There's a few tire choice options on this. I say a few, a few different brands, and you've got uh, there's a twin, there's this widened twin. Some of them have got a little wide option. It's a lovely looking tractor. If you like that sort of thing, I do like older tractors. I may have mentioned that before. You will find this under small tractors on the very end. It's only five grand, but it's only 18 horsepower. Finding attachments and equipment you're going to be able to use with it is going to be a little bit trickier. A uh, bit more of a feat, I think. Four slots comes down to one for any subsequent one you buy. We have got the option of Michelin, Trelleborg, Continental, Vredestein, Nokian, which has a wide only option. Back to Michelin, we've got standard rear twins like that. Spaced rear twins, back to standard. And like I say, I think we've got a couple that do have a wide option as well after the split twin. Back to standard. And it depends on your particular tyre choice you want to go for. Um, it sounds like this. No beacons. It's so lovely detailing on it. First person. Just a nice little tractor in it. So we go. The Kramer KL200 by EY Modding. That is still. <laughs> ah, a bit of light relief. Anyway, which should bring me on to. <laughs> is it the last of the mods? Let me just look down my list. I think so. I think it might be. This is the Fent 1100 MT by RLSF Ole, a Pix by Ruhrpot, it says. 11.65 megabytes download, 18 slots on console. Now, I'll be honest, the only thing I can see that's different between this and the standard in-game one is colour options. Other than that, I think everything else is pretty much the same. I think it's only one slot more than the standard in-game one as well. That being said, though, because I do like petrol blue, I do like this in the petrol blue. I think that looks really nice. But again, that is my own personal preference. Uh, you will find it under large tractors. 385 grand, 18 slots comes down to one. Maximum horsepower is 673. I'm just going to find the other one. Where is it? 17 slots, 385 grand, maximum horsepower 673. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, we've got EU and US options on this, which changes the exhaust. On both the EU and US, we do still have the um, warning squares, which I don't know, do the US version still have the warning squares? I'm not sure. Uh, and then horsepower, we've got 511, 564, 618, 673. Are your horsepower options? Obviously, if you go for a 673, that's an extra 64 grand on top, um, but it makes it quite a beast. Track setup, we have got standard, we've got three meter or standard. Like I say, I think the pretty much only difference on this one is the color option. You can then pick whatever colour you want your uh, your fence to be. And then there's a licence plate option on there too. And we do have doors and windows that open, which I think would be stand uh, different to the standard as well. I just love that petrol blue. Sad, I know. But... So. Beacons, lights... L1, R1, left stick side side opens the left door. L1, R1, right stick side side opens the rear window. And then uh, if we do L1, R1, and o, uh, right stick up and down open crane tool puts those, puts those warning squares away. So you can open and close the warning squares if you want to. Manually, interior, nice and tidy. Looking good, sounding good. A big old beastie at 673 horsepower if you go to the, the monster. Um, and I think, looking down my list, that's it for the mods. There are two maps out. There's a map ported over. The Hills of Slovenia by White Bull Modding has been released. And there's a new map out called uh, Frankenmuth Farming Map by Taylor Farms. Hopefully I will get onto that map tour, but that might not be till tomorrow morning. And then if I get a chance, I'll get onto the hills of Slovenia as well at some point. But as far as I can tell, that's all the mods.
for today, Tuesday the 22nd of March. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.